Good morning. I think that we need to make some things clear on glazing the whistles. I had a viewer uh, response and uh, she was asking about, can you hear that? She was asking about glazing the inside of the whistles, especially since this one has a ball inside of it. And so I wrote back and told her no. Uh, you can just very carefully put glaze down in there, and I use, this one hasn't been bisque fired yet, but once it's bisque fired, you can put you can put under glaze inside here, but you have to be so careful not to put a buildup of glaze on that splitter edge. You will be in trouble. Uh, well. You might not be in trouble, but your whistle might not make the same sound uh, after it's fired. Also, you don't want to get glaze down in this area here on the inside to block the air passage. So what I did, and what I did, let's see, on this one, not sure you can see that. I have under glaze on the inside of that sound hole. You might be able to see this one better. There's there's just a slightly different color of teal in there, and so there's underglaze on that little platform, and on some of them, there is no glaze. Uh, on some student work, to be safe, sometimes it's better just to leave that raw clay and then just carefully glaze around it and fire it. Um, this one had glaze put on it. It was very carefully done and just inside the air hole, just, or the, the blowing hole, just to, um, keep it to a minimum. This one has been glazed on the inside and it still makes noise. There, I mean, they still have, uh, let's see, that one was left empty. I think this was also a student work, so that was just, just to be on the safe side, that student was being cautious. That one is under glaze and got pretty, under glaze doesn't have the buildup. So if you use that, any color, they come in a lot of colors and they also come in little tiny bottles like this that are just pretty cheap. So if you like to have a variety of colors without making a huge investment in a lot of it, uh, you can try stuff like that. You can also mix these colors, but you probably should test in order to see what color you're going to come out with. So, so these have been underglazed on the inside. This one has been underglazed. Now, if I want to glaze this part, a different color from that, I can take some water soluble brush on wax resist and I can put that in the holes. In fact, I'm pretty sure that the student that made this one put wax in that hole uh, before, before it was, because this was dipped I'm familiar with how when this one was done and the student put wax inside this hole and completely blocked the hole so that it nothing could get in there at all and she also put wax inside this hole of course wiped it off so it wasn't too messy looking and then she put some wax design on the rest of it and then dipped it so uh, that's how that one was done. Uh, this one, I think the student just avoided sticking any glaze down in the hole. That one's actually been glazed inside there, um, and it still makes noise. So it's kind of up to you how much of a risk you want to take. I will probably do, this one hasn't been bisque fired yet. But I'll probably take the same precautions on this one that I did on this. And rather than take any chances, I will put uh, an underglaze in the hole so that it, it looks nice. 
and then um, and then glaze put the wax it and glaze around it now that's what I was doing with this if I want to take some water soluble wax on a brush after I've put the under glaze on there I can very carefully put a wax resist over that under glaze over under it's all it's all it's all it all gets on there so just as long as you cover up everything that you want to stay that color and it'll dry kind of a kind of, it's latex so it it dries a weird color so now since it's water soluble i can pretty much completely uh, cover that up and i put a film over that and it might stay there it might pop as it's drying but you can also reapply on top of it and so then once it's dry well even before it's dry you can take something you can take something and just wipe the wax resist off of the uh, edge there and if you got any on here you can just wipe that off too so I would not ever dip a whistle that has a, a rattle in it. And I'm even a little cautious. I don't know. I mean, you can take the chance. I'm even a little cautious about dipping something like this because, I mean, unless I waxed, completely blocked the little holes because I wouldn't want to change or take. After you put this much work into something, you don't want to take the chance of screwing it up by just having the inside done because who's going to be looking at that? But they do, this is visible, the sound hole, so it would be nice to have that tended to. And I think the underglaze is probably the best way to do that. So that is our little clarification on how to glaze it. I would not. I would just avoid dipping them until you got really, really uh, proficient with this.